Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing another 99 overall simulation except this one is going to be a tiny bit different in that we are not putting them in the NHL. We are in fact playing them in the AHL for their entire career. So something interesting that I found out is that apparently when players retire in this game if they have no points in the NHL they're not shown because when this guy retired he was nowhere to be found but uh, yeah, that was just one cool thing I ended up finding out during this simulation, and I just wanted to see how much they could dominate. One thing I was really curious to see is if they would be able to beat Gretzky's NHL record in the AHL, because I feel like that should be possible. You're 99 overall with high franchise potential, and, you know, you're in the AHL, so I feel like it should be possible, but yeah, that's just a couple things before we get into today's video, and... Yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's all I wanted to mention in the intro. So without further ado, let us jump in to Ronald McDangle playing in the AHL for his entire career. So I put him on the Pineapple team. I actually don't even know what their team is really called. It's like the Pacific something or other. But uh, anyway, I gave him a long contract. And something else very interesting that I found out is that this player, when their contract did expire... I was able to re-sign them at 99 overall for like $1.5 million for two years. Both times it expired and they were still 99 overall. So that was very interesting to me. And also, I don't want to be one of those guys, but, uh, you know, maybe stay till the end because it does get a little bit interesting. But anyway, we can see here that the team made the playoffs, but they were deleted in the first round. I also decided to use the Seattle Kraken again just because why not really, you know, and yeah, I guess I just mentioned he's on the pineapple team and I don't know their name, but that's mostly why I picked it just because I like <laughs> the team. It's something weird, but uh, I almost put him on the, the silver Knights. It was close, but I didn't anyway, um, enough about what sort of internal debate I had before making this video. They made it to round two in year two. So if the pattern keeps up, that means they'll make it to round three this time. You can see that. Um, right now averaging over 100 points a season and playing well in the playoffs as well. The team not winning, I was about to call it the President's Trophy, but that is not what it's called in the AHL. I actually don't know what it's called in the AHL, but fun fact, the team made it to the finals there and they were swept. That's great. Uh, but this year, 29 points in 23 playoff games for McDaniel. Team finished fifth in the league and the trophies, once again, definitely in favor of McDaniel. They would lose to the Marlies in the finals this time. It would take six games, so a little bit of an improvement there. So far, it's just been, you know, an upward climb. They have been improving every season, getting a little bit closer, but they haven't been able to take home the ultimate prize yet. And then they just fall off a cliff. It's like a roller coaster. They're going up, and then they just dropped. But, uh, yeah, they didn't make the playoffs, which I found very strange. I thought they would consistently make the playoffs with just a 99 overall player alone on the team, but apparently that isn't true. They finished fourth in the league this time, and McDangle is once again going to do all right for himself at the awards ceremony. This time it would be the Griffins taking down your pineapples. I, I really should find out. Well, I guess I could read it every single time we go to the team standings. I'm just not doing that because I'm too busy talking, and this video is kind of bouncing all over the place. And this Flynn guy, who does he think he is, huh? Guy thinks he's all that in a bag of Doritos. Anyway, uh, Grand Rapids would beat the pineapples again. <laughs> I... That's just their name, okay? I'm just calling them the Pineapples from now on. Chalgren, Leafs legend, will be the backup goalie this year for the Palm Springs uh, Pineapples. Yeah, there you go. HC. Nice. So I did get it right. And then this Flynn guy's doing real well. He's doing very well. So I wanted to check him out. And he's a medium top six. But his, look at his shooting category. I mean, I don't do a great job of showing it. But he's got a few 99s there. But anyway, he's doing better than a full-on 99 overall player, which I found very odd. But regardless... I'm going to keep the sim going. All right, the show must go on. An actual minus one for this guy this year in the playoffs. But the team finished third in the league. He does get a bunch of trophies yet again. And as you can see, the Griffins just really have the Pineapples number. McDangle going to be playing with Rabbit. What a cool name. And I'm just showing you guys the team. Every now and again, I just kind of show the full team so you guys get like an update on what's going on there. 123 points this year. 17 in 10 playoff games. Team finished third in the league. Very close to winning the Not President's Trophy. And they made it to the second round this time. They made it past Grand Rapids, but they couldn't get past round number two. 
Anyway, I'm just kind of showing you that his stats are all still 99. He hasn't really dropped off at all. And what a killer year. 134 points. That's the best we have seen from him so far. 115 points for the team would get them second. And they finally win it. They beat the Penguins in the finals with a clean sweep. Once again, just giving you sort of a full team update here. And 110 points would be the amount McDangle would put up for the year 12 season. Doing all right for himself once more at the trophy ceremony. I think that just goes without saying at this point. They made it to the finals, but the Senators did beat them this time in six games. So they didn't go back to back. That would have been wild. But they did win the first place thing, whatever that might be. And McDangle going to do some trophies there again for himself. Because why not? Another sweep in the finals there too. 117 points this time. 25 in 20 playoff games. The team finished first in the league with a lot more points than number two. All right, like that was crazy. And they go on to absolutely dominate the playoffs again. So this is why I said you guys should stick around because I don't know what happened, all right? They put something in the water and these guys just absolutely went ballistic because they are dominating the entire league. 138 points and the next was 111 and they win it again. What is going on here? I feel like this should have been happening the whole time. It really should have been happening the whole time, but I guess better late than never. 135 points this time. This time they finish first, but they get eliminated in the first round of the playoffs. They did, however, win the season, as you saw there. So yeah, the Griffins once again came back for a little ha ha and put them out. Year 17, McDangle, still all 99s, puts up 108, is a plus 69, nice, and puts up 23 points in 18 Playoff games, team finishes first in the league by six points. Trophies, yeah, you know by now. And another sweep in the finals. So they are winning a lot of those, whatever it is. Calder Cup, I know that one. I actually know that one. His stats are finally starting to tail off here at the age of 36. Puts up 112 points this season. And there you have it. So the team finishes first in the league. Dangle getting some trophies once more. And he would, in fact, retire after the team won yet another Calder Cup. So as I mentioned, he didn't really show up on the retirement screen. And by didn't really, I mean didn't at all. Because I made sure to sort. I sorted by points zero. I sorted by drafted, which he was undrafted. And I made sure that was possible in years prior that you could sort by undrafted. Guy was not there. And I also kind of found a pattern, as I mentioned, that nobody had zero points that was being shown. So I think that's like a rule. It won't show you... Players that haven't played an NHL game. So I found that out. And regardless, thankfully, we still have all of his stats. With a total of 2,006 points in the AHL, that is still more than 800 points short of Gretzky. But it would put him in second. It put him above Yager, at least. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you soon.